Hey all, Decubon here, and welcome back to 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. Last time we continued Ryoko's storyline and her unreliable narration. I'm still convinced that there's some things in her memory, or at least the things that she's showing us that are just completely bonkers. Especially when it comes to Mr. A here, aka possibly Prisoner 426. Still not sure about him, but uh, we'll have to leave that for another day because unfortunately, Ryoko's gate's locked. So instead, we're gonna start with Yuki's storyline today. Huh? That's right, it's time for the story of Yuki Takamiya. Look at her in that tough girl pose. New school, first day, this 1985. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Yep, of course it is. Ah, so if we're headed for the track room, oh Jesus. She hauls ass. Oh. Oh, Natsuno! Natsuno! There you are. Oh, happy-go-lucky girl. Nachan. No way! Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your <laughs> hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out. Uh, Remember? It's good that you two know That's each right. other. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Yeah, sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. Mm. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. So you moved, Really? Huh? I knew you went to this school too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Mostly involving UFOs, Aren't you right? In the middle of practice right now. Oh, hey, Shu. I've got to get somewhere too. Oh, this but should be now, good. We can see each other anytime. Totally. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later. See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan. And there goes so that good mood. Ah. <laughs> Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. Oh. But we still kept writing to each other. That's sweet. She's the only person I really care about. The only person? Really? That's kind of sad. Don't call me that. <laughs> I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard. I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up. It's funny <laughs> if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? <laughs> How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Yep, don't sounds about right. Aw, oh, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. She's gonna punch I you. I said quit calling me that. She is gonna punch you if you're not careful, dude. Oh! Hey, I'm Iguchi. I've been looking for you. That's another face we haven't seen in a while. <sighs> Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takamiya of Suzu High. Not anymore. What are you doing on our turf? Now it's Takamiya of Sakura of High. Maria. She just transferred here, actually. <laughs> uh, we got these two goofballs to think about Some now. Some rich kid who won't stop following me around. <laughs> he seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. Yeah. He built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Oh, so Every you knew him from middle school. Who he is. I think he's like one of the very last protagonists, because he's... I'm pretty sure Ogata was a Sentinel pilot, and right now, I don't have him in my list of people I can, you know, interact with. <laughs> the transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look! That's, <laughs> that's the only outfit. <laughs> it's the only outfit the animators would give me. Obviously, don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Uh. uh no. Oh yeah, this is still prologue. I won't have any branches at all. A transfer at this time of year. Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Yeah, when you move, you move. Maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. Dude, 
You be careful. She'll bend you over and pull that shit you call hair right off your head. But why'd she come here of all places? Why here? Well... Oh? Is there a specific reason? Reasons we can't share? Oh. Government building SIU office. Oh. Hello. Go on then. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh. You're dismissed. Ida. I'd like to speak with her alone. Huh. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents. Yeah, it was fun. Twelve of which were sent to the hospital. Damn, I was right to call her punkette. She's hardcore. Your reputation precedes you. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. <laughs> well, you apparently smashed 12 of their faces in. It's not surprising. You seem a little tense. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? <laughs> work with me? Any of those Kuri boys end up dead. Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's too bad. Damn. Hmm. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. Oh, she did say settling a score, but I didn't think they were uh, doing that sort of thing. Okay, uh, no sympathy for this crew. Nope. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not going to be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. No, not what Your we have father, in mind. Hita Takamiya. Oh shit. Currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Oh. Yeah. So what? Going to hold there her father been over her. In his life by other inmates. Not surprising since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive for now. <sighs> Now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. <laughs> God, I hate you already. Yep. <laughs> he's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Oh. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but... Still his dad. He's the only real yeah. family I have. Still dad, no matter what. Family's family, even if they are pain in the business, ass. Then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Wow, you guys are busy. Not so publicly. It seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. Huh. I wonder if this is a smokescreen that she's being fed to cover up for the Sentinels. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. It does kind of sound like it. What does it. that have to do with me? We began investigating and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age and are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. Either that or this version isn't in on it and he just thinks this is what's going on, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. Hmm. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. Mm -hmm. So they're making weapons too? I would say they're making weapons, but I don't think they're making this kinds of weapons. Nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Yuki, you ain't heard nothing yet. A few bastards got that much dirt on them. Why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public. Oh, sure. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? 
We are a special investigations unit. Government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. <laughs> I am director of the SIU and your superior. SIU chief. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Yeah, I don't entirely believe that. I think that's a cover. All right, so they're making weapons. But what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. Before we get into the specifics of the job, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I think I kind of exhausted most of them, so let's see what we got here. Ugh. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Oh. Class 2A, Renya Goto. When she sees Natsuno's uh, name on here, she's going to freak. <laughs> yep, there it was. Class 1C. That's no Minami. <laughs> we need someone Called to investigate it. these students. And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Not John. But why her? Huh. Why her indeed. Oh! Hey, Ryoko. What are you doing here? Who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator. Oh. And your superior. Oh. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. Huh. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. Huh. I wonder if this is pre-Ryoko having her memories messed with or post-Ryoko having her memories messed with. Hmm. They got dirt on you too, Dopey. Is she the one? Yes, she is. No, nope, she's definitely in she on it. I'm talking to you. She doesn't look like she knows much. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell I'm not going to like you. Well, I like you, Yuki. You've got the attitude. You have quite the abrasive personality. Jeez. <sighs> Is there anything else to look at then? Oh, Jesus. Yuki girl, you gotta slow down. You are, like, on steroids or something. I've had enough of this shit. Exactly. We're not finished. Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. Don't worry. She will work with us. It's her destiny, after all. Oh, her destiny, you say? Well, I do end up back at the school two weeks in now, huh? That is an interesting pose. No sign of her today, either. And you still have the wrong outfit on. Two weeks in. Where are you, Nachan? Oh... Oh. oh. Hey. Come back, Miyuki. Sure. <laughs> hey, She's still pining. Got a sec? You're in class 1C. That right? Yes. Not to know Minami's in your class. Oh, hey, she? Juro just walked out. Oh, yeah. She's been out for three days now. Oh, three days. This is when she was stuck in the 40s, when the gate got locked behind her. Have you heard anything? The teacher just said she was out sick. At least I think it is. That Did would be a. Directly? That would be a thing. Know. That'd be a valid reason for her being gone. It would also prove an interesting idea that the timelines are running concurrently, that it's not, like, or... perfect time travel. Hmm. Anything Sorry else? For bothering you. All right. 
Uh, Miwa? Oh, and Yori. Miwa-chan, um, do you need something? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> ah, we're making all sorts of friends, aren't we, Yu Yu? Miwa-chan. Hmm? Yui-chan, any news? No one at the school seems to know anything. I hope Natsuno-chan's okay. Ah, uh, interest peaked again. What should we do? Stop by Natsuno-chan's house again? Hey, you. Uh, oh. Got a sec. I, I get it's your thing, but could you just tone it down a little bit? Like, not much. I mean, these girls are obviously, you know, I heard not you used to dealing Natsuno with people Minami. quite this, you know. Who are you? Straightforward. Takamiya, but that's beside the point. I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. Yep, this is definitely when she, she was stuck in the 40s. Yesterday. But her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there too. Were they really the police though? <sighs> oh. Well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Were they the cops? Or were they? Oh, hey. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Nachon hasn't okay. been at home either. Let's get going. And those cops, <laughs> or whatever they are, what were they doing there? <sighs> oh, hey, Ryoko. What, what do you, you want? I'm looking for freaking Natsuno. What's your problem? You remember your orders, don't you? You're supposed to keep a low profile. Hmm. Huh. I can't recall. <laughs> Maybe you've forgotten about your father, too. <sighs> what did you say? <sighs> One more thing. Don't go looking for Natsuno Minami. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, consider that trigger flipped. Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsuno Minami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment. So stay out of my way. Are we clear? Hey! Hold on! <laughs> what could have happened to Nachan? I bet that four-eyed bastard has some answers. Time to do what I do best. Oh, the subtle approach. Sunset, Gokyo Street Pedestrian Bridge. This is unacceptable. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsuno Minami. And I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded. Oh. But our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. Damn. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. Like Morimura? Case, the situation <laughs> is I mean, dangerous. it's not really. Unless this is a I completely different issue. Out of it. Shinonome kun has this under control. Yeah, sure she does. As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> yep. <sighs> She's a little firebrand. Damn, six mystery files obtained for this one. Gonna be some good stuff in here, hopefully. What are we looking at? Yuki Takamiya. 
She is a skilled Sukuban girl infamous among many schools as Takamiya of Suzu High. She's devoted to her friends, has a strong sense of justice, and is quick to get into fights. Natsuno Minami is a childhood friend of hers, and though they were separated for a while, she's still her best friend and one of the only people she can feel truly at home with. Tetsuya Ida, the head of SIU, blackmails her and asks her to infiltrate Karabe's high school. Sukaban is a term originally from the 1970s to describe delinquent girls, deriving from the combination of another slang term, suke, a now antiquated way to refer to women, and bon from boncho, which refers to a leader of a gang of delinquents. However, Sukaban was used to describe any girl that was a delinquent, not just the leader. <laughs> any of these get updated? Doesn't look like it. There could be some down here, possibly. Ah, there we are. SIU office. A room on the fifth floor of the government building in Iowa Ward, Tetsuya Ida's office. And that's it. Alright. Oh, we're up to 32%, and she's not locked. Thank goodness. Cool. I don't think I really wanted to have to deal with uh, starting to unlock people just yet. What do we got? The rooftop, 1985. Interviews at Sakura High School. Girls' bathroom. Or the shrine in the front gate. This should lead us to Natsuno. Interesting where this one's going to lead us, though. Okay. What to do? Hmm? KC has been added to the thought cloud. Oh. Can't go wrong with apple juice. <laughs> and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. It actually doesn't sound half bad. That damn Fora. He says there's some spy agency. It sh they may not put their honest. Okay, yeah, we've seen this before. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Haven't Do seen you have in ages. Takamiya san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson. Erica Aiba, at your service. Ah, we finally have a name for you. I've seen Please, you once or twice, but I couldn't remember your name properly. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How Erica, like huh? Start? I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. <laughs> Even my steeliest glare doesn't fade. Frickin' weirdo. Weird. All right. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Oh, you're a smoker. Lovely. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? I mean, <laughs> I guess. I love mystery novels. Ugh. I've always wanted to be a detective too. <laughs> <sighs> uh, you're like one of Phoenix Wright's groupies. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Mm-hmm. Huh? Sure you are. Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? All right. Well, I don't really have anything new at the moment. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Huh? This is the piece of trash I kicked over earlier. What is this? This is Amiguchi's. He got a 92? Damn. <laughs> Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. And then again, he did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Yep, still an idiot. <laughs> Shoe has been added to the thought cloud. Some flirty rich kid who won't. He huh? seems to be close friends with a. Interesting. So it's this exact same statement from earlier. Head to the class one hallway. Hmm. Interesting. Got a couple words I can throw around, just not sure who I'd throw them at yet. Interviewing. Annoying. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I can see you're going to be amazingly useful. Have a minute. 
I got some things to ask you. <sighs> Pining again, girl. Natsuno Minami still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Uh huh. Even during class. This is that moment in time. To be a bit when she was hiding BJ. The track room, huh? Track and field room has been added. She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Hmm. Interesting. Huh? She was. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name. It was Yakushiji. Yep. She's pretty dull, actually. No, she's just busy pining at the moment. Hmm. Throw Natsuno at her again. Anything else you noticed? About Natsuno Minami. Huh. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. The notebook. Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Oh, it just might. Oh. You have something else Was to say. Something else? Well, I can't throw any more keywords at Was you. There's something at so, you know, you're out of stuff for me to say. So is Erica. How about you two troublemakers? Not Chan's friend. <laughs> Doesn't even have her name yet. Oh, interesting. Uh, I could throw this at her, too. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. You're better with names than I and am. Next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi Kisaragi, I think. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Well, this should be good. That's the only one I can now actually you. throw at her at the moment. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. So, uh... Yes? Anything? Oh, could you be... Oh, am I about to get ID'd? I mean, the way you're dressed... Are you one of those Sukebon girls? <laughs> oh, are you like hiding a razor in your skirt right now? Jeez. Uh, of course not. This is the first time I've seen one in real life. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could you stop fangirling over her? Jeez. Uh, is your friend okay? Hmm. Well, shoot. Didn't really get any good keywords there. Huh? Try the athletics building then. I mean, we know the break room is a thing. You stay here. Oh, track member. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. <laughs> Did you need something? Well, looking for I Natsuno. I ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Hmm. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so too. Of course, you make it sound like you've seen her in the recent days. Oh, the manager. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. One incident. too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. Um. But. I don't remember a fire being in Natsuno's story. 
right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? Hmm. Yeah, that's the only word I can really throw at her. A fire? In the north building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Huh. Really? I heard it was arson. So there's no clear solution to the fire. Hello. Hello. I've already been talking to you for the last few seconds. Oh, I see. I could throw out the north building fire you at you. Anything about that fire in the north building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. <sighs> I am certain. Their intentions were not pure. Yeah, I can see you being a ball of use. Sheesh. Oh. Track member. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? <laughs> Did you notice anything strange about her? I feel like there was a uh, a statement missing out of order there. Depends what you define as strange, but Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Ah. Something like... Like a little robot. Some kind of UFO looking thing? <laughs> I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. Yep, it was BJ. The locker room, huh? Yeah. The box has been added to the thought cloud. You on the track team? Yes, we've already identified yes. this. Yep, the Something box. That the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box, and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. You know anything about the fire in the north building? No. No. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, we got a couple more interesting pieces of information. Wonder if I can actually get into the track building. Yep, girls track and field room. Excuse me. That room is for authorized personnel only. Oh. It's just a damn locker room. Huh. <sighs> well, can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. <laughs> oh, Erica. I need to get into the track and field room. No, Iba. I need a distraction. I take a look around the track room. But that goody two shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh, you want me to be a decoy? Yeah, pretty much. But you don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. <laughs> I shall not let you down. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Five bucks says she's an android. Honestly. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. I sit here Wait going like... Out here when I'm done. <sighs> you cannot be that much of an airhead, could you? Kind of reminds me of Penny from Ruby. All right, let's try this again. There's my little distraction. I beg your pardon. Yep. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. See what I mean? She there? sounds like a robot even. Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. Listen to her. She sounds like a freaking robot. All right. Here's the track and field room. Okay. Leaving the locker room is probably a bad idea. How about Natsuno's locker? There we are. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans found it. Notebook. This must be that notebook. Perfect. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. <laughs> Minami's notebook. Wait, that was one of the keywords, wasn't it? No, front gate and shrine. Those are the ones what I was thinking. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. <laughs> All right, record one. I finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. 
an actual extraterrestrial being. <laughs> In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial <laughs> being. Did Najon make all this up? Yeah, <laughs> she's got to sound that possible. way. Right up until you end up in one of the gates. Abducted by aliens. <laughs> abducted by aliens? All right. Okay, we've heard that. Now, record These number two. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel. Oh. Right in Tokisaka Shrine. There it was. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Yep, there's Either a good way, clue. It's definitely a clue. All right, and how about number three? He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number Seventeen. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. Oh. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Yeah. Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. All right. So. Oh. Anything else in here? Hmm. Time Yeah, we've already had this. Nothing I haven't already looked. Okay, that's what it is. Just to be like, oh yeah, you've already looked at this. Huh? <laughs> oh. I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. <sighs> Still calling you a goddamn robot. Alright, let's throw... North Building Fire, huh? You heard anything about that fire? No, I don't know anything. Okay, so no. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. Yep, you're a goddamn robot, the aren't you? The room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm gonna be honest. I think we found everything we need to in here. We've got one of the two keywords we need. Oh. Hello. What's this guy doing here? Uh, nope, can't really talk to Erica at the moment. Neither you two idiots are gonna tell me anything interesting. Black suit. Hey, don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. Oh. I'm Takamiya with the SIU. I assume you've heard about Ah, uh, so the black suit guys are so SIU, huh? So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We received new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. Mm. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Kind of hard to, dude, mission. seriously. You stick out like a goddamn sore thumb. And again, you're not going to say anything interesting about that, are you? Now, where are we going to go? I mean, I'm still missing a keyword to get to the next branch. This one section's pretty damn long. Oh. Oh, hey. It's the punk. Where's he going? Not Chan's friend. Can I throw any new keywords at you? Nope. I've got a red entry. But, uh, so far, all of these are just repeat entries. Well, at least Yuki seems to have slowed down a little bit, finally. Head to the roof? Are these my only options, really? You're up here. <laughs> Are you hiding from him? Maybe ill advised. 
to associate with hoodlums. Okay, you are definitely sounding like Penny from Ruby. Good lord. Ogata. Oh, this ought to be good. Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. I could ask him so about the North Building's fire. I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? All right. So, Nachan. You know she's gone missing? Yeah. I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. Oh. The black suits, you say? I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette smoking delinquent. Okay, that part I don't remember hearing. You're making some accusations there. Are you trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. Oh. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Ah, there's the girls' bathroom keyword I needed. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. Oh, about the black you suits. What? what the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. <laughs> I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. Oh man, dude. Welcome to my world. You have missed so much. The agent on Nachan's case. Shino no me. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> Alright, well, I got some good have information I out of this. Of your questions yet? Get lost. Alright. <sighs> Girls bathroom. Let's see if this gives me any Oh yep. Uh yeah. Let's see where this path goes. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the north building. Certainly. I suppose I'll have to come back and find that other keyword in some other trip. Holy shit. What the hell happened Holy here? Shit. You seeing this? There's no way all this was from a fire. No way. A fire fight, maybe? Holy crap. We are not allowed to be in here. <laughs> oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I told you, she's a damn you robot. We're actual detectives now. I swear to God, you're a robot. Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. Ugh. Uh. Groan. Grown, I say. Holy halibut. Not one burn mark in sight. No. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. This looks like impact damage. The hell, do we have a mini sentinel now ramp rampaging? Or a kaiju? These scratch marks, they're carved pretty deep in there. Was there a small kaiju? I mean, if I remember correctly, the workers are about eight feet tall. In theory, one might be able to sneak in here. Damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Red plastic. Someone's eyeglass frames. Usami. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. I know who those belong to. Red glasses. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Uh-huh. 
Yes, now I do. I think about it. Yeah, I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Mm -hmm. Tell me Kisaragi. Tell me Kisaragi. Good lord, all the keywords I have. I think I saw her in the class 1 hallway just now. I gotta find her. I have constructed a criminal profile. Oh, this should be good. Hmm. Our suspect is a maintenance lady built like a bear. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, just no. Oh, this gosh. This is how I expected a crime scene to look. <sighs> In mystery novels, the perpetrator's name is always written somewhere in blood. <laughs> Yeah, when there's a dead body nearby. This is not you Danganronpa, really okay? We are not doing that. Good lord, though. Maybe All right. Whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Yeah, let's go chase oh. her down. Oh, wait for me. That is a messed up bathroom. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I still need to find this front gate keyword. Maybe it's on this path somewhere. Pressing the suspect. Oh, this should be good. She was somewhere around here before. Where? Oh, where did she get off to? Is she in here? Not here either. Hmm? Please don't run off like that so suddenly. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. I can't keep up. <sighs> what am I going to do with you, Erica? Oh, there you are. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I think... I think I forgot something. You I'm gonna go something? get it now. Alright. Well, gonna be honest, good riddance. Alright, let's see what good. we got out of this. Yeah? Yeah? I got your glasses. These Are yours? These glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. That is so true. Obviously, they can't be mine. Hmm. Unless you have multiple pairs. You went to the girls' bathroom in the North Building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions anyways? <laughs> I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? It's true, it is a bit of a hike. All right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. And now we're about to find so out that's wrong. Me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually. Oh? Miwako, do you have something to add yeah. to this conversation? I saw her. The day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, rat it out. But I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno-chan there, too. Hmm? Wait, what? Oh. Time displacement? <laughs> Clone? I Robot? I mean, god dang, funny. how many different possibilities could I there be at this point? To the art room. Oh. Oh, Natsuno-chan, Miwako. Aren't you supposed to be at training? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the... <sighs> oh. Sorry, Miwako. Trying to hide from the man in black. What was that about? Hmm? Oh. Uh, Usami-chan? What happened to your leg? Oh. Oh. Guys? Look at her eyes. They are the wrong color. 
This is an android. Did you hurt yourself? Not to mention, I think she she's bleeding like white blood. That's not like Osami chan. Maybe this isn't when she got stuck in the 40s. Maybe this is somewhere else in, in the timeline. Oh no, her eyes are that color. Never mind. But, uh, I still think that's the android Kisaragi. I've never even seen that place. Seriously, Miwako? But I... Oh, hey, Yuri. What's going on? Yuri-chan. So, I was saying... Boy, this that mystery right. keeps getting crazier and crazier. Oh, no, it's true. I really did see them. That's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami-chan was with me the whole time. Yep. At the front gate, remember? Oh, thank you for the front gate <gasps> keyword. I needed that. That's right. Supposedly, you're going to give me front gate keyword. No? But what about Nachan? I mean... Ah. Uh. I had a new thing to How listen to. How did know Minami look? Hmm. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, what? So two Tomi Kisaragi. Yep. What the hell's going on? We got an android running around. On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. Another she girl? Was covered in dust. It was really weird. And, and which one was I this? About it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Oh. Was hmm. Well, she looked mild mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. I swear to God, if it's Erica. <laughs> she, <laughs> she really is a damned android, isn't she? So two. Oh. A girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. Don't know. But damn. Girl with red glasses. <gasps> I needed this one. Natsuno Minami unlockable. It even says so. This was her unlock condition. Oh, did I at least get any uh, keywords out of this that I could use? Any at all? Come on. Come on. Aw. Dang. Well, Yuki's still playable at this point. Unfortunately, I didn't get the front gate keyword, so I'm going to have to chase that down somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, that is her unlock condition. The girl with red glasses event. <laughs> ah, the mystery deepens. But we're going to have to save that for later. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me because I think we're going to continue with Miss Yuki's story for a little while longer. And then we'll see where the girl with red glasses leads. But until then, see you guys in the next video.